be careful. This thing's very sharp. How's it going, y'all? I am helping Kitty adjust to her new home. And I and I just I worry because I just don't want her to get hurt by anything. <laughs> She is loving being here, so she's going to join us for Qigong today. Please pay attention to your breath and your heartbeats. Just notice what's going on. I have a meditation about swirl energy to start today. So just connect with your hearts. Connect with your energy. I'm going to go ahead and invite some folks on Facebook. Remember why you're here right now. It's for you. Try to create space to make it really conducive to your energy flow and your relaxation and your focus on you right now. You deserve this. So take some time. Set the space a little bit more if you need to. Move some things out of your way, maybe light a candle, maybe burn some incense, maybe, scents, maybe invite a friend. <clears throat> All right. Here we are. Qigong. I'm excited about this um, meditation today. Something that I hope can help a lot of you as you begin to just wind in and connect with your energy. Not other people's energy, not how you fit into other people's energy, but your magical flow right now. What is going on with you? Connect within and without. Thank you for sharing, Jabri. Good to see everyone today. We are tuning in. Just like Kitty here, she is totally tuned in. Notice your breath. Notice your heartbeat. What is going on with you right now? Feel your heart. How is your heart beating? What does it sound like to you? To your ears, to your arteries and veins, to your third eye? What does your heartbeat feel like and sound like? Where are the kinks? Where are the kinks? Let the breath flow, let it cleanse you. As you connect with your inner vibration, your inner frequency, the tones, the lights, the sounds. Oh, you are such a miracle of frequencies and tones and lights. Every single cell, millions of cells making up who you are. Incredible. Mm. 
Yes, the vibrations. I'm just going to share our meditation. You know what? Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait. I'll wait on this. Let's just let's just get started with our own intentions before I even share that. Hey, Kate. Feel your energy. Feel your miraculous vibrations beating, your heart beating. And just come into awareness of what you'd like to focus on today. What do you need most for your highest good, for your body? Where are you feeling pain? Where are you feeling limitation? Where are you feeling stuck? Where are you hurting? And we're going to focus on that. So when you're ready, share your intentions for class today. What you'd like to focus on, what you'd like to release, what you'd like to bring in. And that will help to guide me. Besides doing our Wuji Gang practice, we will cater the class to you. If you've got certain shoulder things going on, we'll do an extra thing for shoulders. If you've got heart stuff going on, we'll do an extra stuff for heart. So when you're ready, share your name and your intention for class today. My name is Aviva. My intention is to be here for you. For myself, which you'll hear in the meditation, I'd also like to focus on releasing that dizziness from other people's expectations, which I'm calling swirl. Someone else swirling me around so I don't know my right or my left. Whatever that energy is, releasing that and being really centered. Jabri says his intention is to be here today and he'll like, he wants to focus on his heart and the feet. I got you. And I'm so grateful, Jabri, that you asked to focus on your feet every class because I probably wouldn't focus on the feet if you didn't ask for it every time. And I think we need to focus on the feet more. I don't think we focus on the feet enough. Our feet walk us everywhere. So it's so good to focus on the feet. Does anyone else have any intentions out there? I got some messages earlier today that someone wants to focus on the piriformis, the inner thigh and the shoulders as well. Am I missing anything? I'm kind of sensing liver stuff is needed as well. It's always good to be livers, live, live, live. All right, well, let's breathe in our intentions, whatever they are. Release anything in the way. Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. Breathe in your intentions. I love you. Release resistance. Feel the love. We're going to start with our intuitive mudra, all the fingertips together, helping us to tap into what is truly important and what is the truth and what is our vision. What do we see? Maybe nobody else sees it, but we see it.
Feel those fingers gently pressed against each other. Three more deep breaths. Now for the heart, bring the index finger down to the bottom of the thumb. Connect these other guys. See that? This is for your heart. Heart pain, chest pain, indigestion, reflux, acid reflux, also helps with emotional heart stuff. It's nicknamed the heart attack mudra. Do it again, index finger down. Hold this, five breaths. Make sure the underarms aren't constricting your energy. Your flow is flowing in your hips, your feet. Sleeping on the ground. She loves this Qigong area. Crawls in and sleeps here. Feels all the Qi. Just a reminder, anytime you do Qigong, you're not only clearing your body, you're clearing the space that you're in. So it's a wonderful space clearing exercise as well. When people walk into my space, they're like, why does it feel so good in here? Energy is real. Mm. One more deep breath. Hmm. One more. Soak in the love for your heart and your heart meridian. I feel like we should do one more mudra and then we'll start the Wu Gong. By the way, that heart uh, mudra also helps with shoulder pain. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear our lymph for the shoulder pain as well. Open up your right hand into a V, bring that around your left ear. Slide down, please swallow, and then massage that shoulder. Two more times, clearing that lymph. And one more time. Tiger gets to be on Sunday Night Live next Sunday if she wants to. Other side. Great to do this time of year. Lots of more stuff kicking up as we start our heating HVAC system. The fall kicking up the, the dust outside. Maybe give yourself a little massage at the neck. And then also let's do some trigger points for the sinuses. These occipital points back here, right where your head is kind of meeting that neck. It might feel a little owie. Mm, yeah. Uh, and then each side of the nostril, one tiny impression there. Good for you, Jabri. You take such good care of yourself. Now, sinuses are also on top of the eyebrows, actually. The sinus cavities. So we're going to tap that and tap under as well. They're all in here. So, like when you have a cold, like this whole part gets really tender and sore because it's like trying to process all this gunk, all this garbage from all the sugar you might be eating. All right. I'd like to do lymph nodes here as well. So it's normal for there to be a little redness. We're going to squeeze under here. Squeeze that lymph node. Again. One more time. Other side. 
<sighs> it's basically like the lymph nodes are like the waste management centers of the body. So when you do that, you're like helping that waste get out, you know? Little tap, 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 tap. We're about to stand and do the Wuji Gong. The Wuji Gong is a wonderful 10 to 20 minute Wuji Gong, uh, Qigong form that you can do every day. It's a great way to start your day, great way to end your day. Great thing to do in the middle of the day. So here we go. Hi. All right. So we are going to start with our ready position. Bring our feet shoulder width apart. Arms are at the sides and shoulders are relaxed. Okay. Hmm. Just chill there for a moment. This is ready position. Just doing this is enough to charge you up. You are like a cell phone. Some more than others are their cell phones. I am not my cell phone. But I charge up. I have a chi pad. It's called this ready position. It's called the earth. So we get comfortable in this ready position. And then we start with the beginning of chaos. We take our yin hand, which is right for women, left for men that under our belly buttons and the other one on top. Press in a little bit and shake. Shake, 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 shake. I don't think Tiger has slipped in days. Enjoy your rest, mama. Shake, 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 shake. This is a great thing to also do without doing the rest of the form. It's really good for the body to shake. Animals do it instinctively when they're stressed. So shaking is a wonderful de-stressor. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah, I did my sunbathing today already. It is gorgeous here in ATL. I know you're all here. I think someone's here from Colorado, California. How's, it, how's the weather over there? So we're going to take the bottom hand out. We're going to face it up, the top face down, and we're going to keep on shaking. You'll notice like these little sensations, they're called chi feelings. Like you might feel like little bursts of energy around your body. And if you don't, that's okay too. Don't judge yourself. Don't be impatient with yourself if you don't feel the chi. But you might not be around, like, you know, might not be aware of what feeling the chi is. It might just feel like pins and needles. It might feel like, like a shake. It might feel like a rush of heat, a rush of cold, or it might feel like that dense energy around you, which is like the typical chi flow that you feel and it could take years to feel that so just be proud of yourself for for practicing <laughs> and then we're going to shake it out 
Now, you might not notice it, but your muscles might be a little sore just from holding your arms out like that because you're actually building muscles by doing Qigong. I don't lift weights. I do lift keyboards though, but not every day. And release. Feel that energy flow up your spine like a spiral. Mm. We are spiraling beings. Okay. Left shoulder down and release back and forth. Nice and slow. Relax your face too. Roll your left shoulder back three times. And roll the right. Beautiful. I'm moving my head, but it's good to stay still. Other side. Yes, it's how I got muscle strawberry from doing Qigong. and slow. A little extra shoulder love today. <sighs> Other side. Keep breathing. Notice I'm swaying a little bit. You don't want to be locked. If your energy sways, then sway. And both at the same time. Yeah, carrying my keyboard. Yes, Jumpy. And also my amp or amps. When we were on tour, um, the East Coast, we, we uh, stayed at this one place in DC that was three stories up with stairs. So we had to load in and out like three times a day with all of our equipment. Good workout. Oh, and then Jen. This is my favorite move in the Wuchi Kong. I so it's my go-to move. If I just feel like doing a couple of minutes of Qi Kong, this is what I do because this is where I feel the Qi the most. So it's good to just be aware of where do you feel the Qi? We're all different. And gravitate towards that movement. If you feel the Qi doing that movement, do it. You don't have to do everything else. You really don't. Feeling the chi is the goal. This form is just a guide. Feeling the chi is the goal. If you feel it, move with it. There's no right way. 
Accept feeling it. And trusting your feelings. She go all day long. You know what my favorite, my favorite thing is to do it in public. Because not only are you not being bored if you're waiting in line, but you're clearing the energy. I love it. I love doing it. Like when I'm in line and people are annoyed at like at taking so long and they're like sitting there all frustrated and they're just like, how long is this going to take? Do you have another teller that can check us out? And then I'll just start doing Qigong and literally like people just start smiling. It's magic. Is what the world, is what the real love is made of. Right, Tiger? Mm -hmm. She feels it. I did. I, she came into my house, Shabri, and she did not want to leave. So she's here. I'm keeping her. All right. So now, yin hand over the head, yang on top. She's She is a qigong master. So we do qigong together a lot. It's really nice to have the company. Feel this chi pouring into your crown. Crown. It's a very important place to connect with your spirit. And then over your tongue. And out to the side. Good job. So that completes that part of the form, which is called collecting spirit from heaven. Rock your feet back and forth a little bit. Loosen up any kind of tenseness going on. You're going to lift your left heel up. See, tiger. And then you're gonna rotate your knee to the right, okay? Just want to show you that. So rotate that knee, bending both legs, both knees. And then the other direction. And relax that heel down, lift the right heel up and rotate to the left. In the other direction.
and then both feet together, knees together, thighs together, bend and rotate to the left. Keep on breathing. Come the other direction. And then back and forth. Gently sway to one side and then the other side, the arms do whatever, like a willow tree. And don't lift your feet off the ground, just rock from side to side. Okay. Okay, and then we are going to just stand in ready position, connecting to the ground. Few more breaths. You got it, Jabri. Sending you some good energy. The next part of the form is alchemizing humanity. Oh my goodness, we are magical. We are alchemy. So what we're gonna do is bring the hands in front of the lower down hand, which is a couple fingers under the belly button, two fists away. Okay, you're gonna bend your knees, hold this invisible ball. Keep it that same distance as you rotate your hips to the left. around the other direction.
Okay, now we're gonna open up wide and you're going to bend over and raise the left arm up to the ear and then gently just let it drop like a feather. AJR, back and forth. How you're sleeping right now. Oh, we forgot to put the music on. I'm doing that. I'll go grab the music. And then we're going to reach across the body. Thank you, Jabri. Back and forth. Okay, hope to see you again, Jeffrey. That's really the arm building and the ab building actually. It's really good for the lower back. Okay. Now we go into the Wuti part of this form and this ends the form for the next five minutes. We are going to just feel our chi. Shake, see the shaking? That's also a chi feeling. You just start shaking in some areas sometimes, moving that chi. Okay. So I'm gonna step away from the EMFs. 
You guys got this. You don't need to look at me. Just feel your chi for five minutes, okay? You got this. Tiger's gonna hold down class while I go and explore my chi in the other room.
minutes. Wanna feel the chi? Wanna feel the chi? Five minutes. She's like technology. I'm past that. I see you. All right. Maybe one more minute. loves my hemp pants. Feel the chi. Ten more seconds. Feel it going those places where you feel stuck. Remember your intention. Once you're in the Uji, you just can keep going, you know? We've been doing good. It's been like eight minutes now, but that's good. Uji is like the goal. It means emptiness or it means the space that which creates, that creates life. So as you do this, you're really creating just more life energy for yourself. You know what? I think we're going to go straight to the feet. Um, but first, you know what? I think what I want to do is um, do something for that piriformis. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross that right ankle over the left knee. You can actually do this lying down if you want pulling your thigh towards you, I love that. Or you can, you know, just put it over your knee while you're sitting down and just gently reach forward, okay? So we're gonna reach forward with your tummy. Feel that hip stretch. If you can go forward, that's fine, but don't force it. Okay. On the other side. Mm -hmm. As 
sometimes like mixing and matching Jeffrey. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the foot stuff. And as we do the foot stuff, I'm gonna talk to you about the immunity from the swirl. So we're gonna start by rotating each toe a few times in each direction and then pulling the toe away from the foot. Let's talk about what happens when you get spun around. Let's just break it down. This can be from a person, this can just this can be from yourself, it can be from society. But what are some ways you can get spun around? One is gaslighting, which is basically um, someone lying to you, being lied to, and being uh, told you're something that you're not. You know, someone turns the light on and you say, oh, the light's on. I say, no, it's not. It's off. Okay. What are the ways people spin you around? Let's do the whole thing going on. by being controlling. Kind of makes your head spin. Why am I being controlled by this person? Manipulation, gaslighting, lying. It kind of twists you up. Um, physically, what happens is you literally feel like energetically like you're spinning, which basically is like not only spinning you, but it is, let's rub between the toes now, preventing you from the healthy spin that you do, like the spiral, spiraling your energy up the spine. It's really hard to continue your spiral when someone's spinning you and you're getting spun out. You need to be centered to be spiraling and activating your life with chi. When you get spun around, you literally get dizzy and it's and you don't feel centered or happy. You can't focus. So a lot of people out there are spinning, right? Let's find a trigger point on the bottom. They might not even know they're spinning. They just feel dizzy. Their left is right. Their up is down. Their in is out. You have to stop spinning before you can center. So if you feel like it's really hard for you to find that time to do qigong and to focus on you, you might be spinning. You might be living in someone's life. Realize it because you got so used to that dance. So more clues that you're spinning is that you're not happy. You don't feel free. You cannot be happy if you're spinning. You're not centered. You're not empowered. Um, another environment that can cause spinning is a fend for yourself environment. Everyone's um, every man for himself, people aren't being helpful to each other. That causes a little spinning. So the other thing that happens with spinning is love becomes fear. You don't know your right from your left. You don't know your love from your fear. You don't know your stress from your peace. So you might get angry. You might get violent. You're not even a violent person because you're spinning and it's like bringing out these weird energies all right tap. so when you're spinning 
and you feel this fear coming out and this anger coming out, the first thing you want to do is say, is this, is this really coming from my center? All right, under the knee, about three fingers down is another pressure point. And if not, you might be spinning. So the first thing to do, instead of react with anger or react with fear, is to stop spinning. Don't do anything. Find your center. If you're, if you're, if you're showing someone your butt instead of your heart, because you got spun around. So turn around, show them your heart. It's okay to take the time and stop spinning before you react. A lot of things are gonna spin you out. A lot of things coming up. Confrontation spins us out. Someone comes at you with a fight and you wanna fight back because all of a sudden your love became fear. You can hold your ground. Say, I don't choose to fight. Why are you spinning me around and wanting to fight me? You gotta spin me around in order to fight me because it's almost like energetically they go like that when they're like, <laughs> so instead of going, because they spun you around and that's what's gonna come out, you gotta like, Spin around, or just be like, oh, I'm back. <laughs> I'm not spun around anymore. All right, now above the knee on the outside of the leg, about three or four, five fingers up. <sighs> Feeling spun around is like all this doubt all of a sudden comes into your mind too because someone spun the conversation or spun you around. It's like someone not listening to you at all. And it's not your responsibility to explain to them if they just don't want to listen. I have one more thing to say about this, maybe more. If someone intentionally spins you, that's a pretty vile and nasty thing to do. It might seem like a little thing, like someone's just being a bee or an a-hole, but that's kind of repulsive. It's kind of vile and nasty. And you might be like, ew. And you almost gotta face the fact that it's vile and nasty in order to not be spun around. Because it'll spin you around thinking, why do I feel it's vile and nasty? Why would they do a vile and nasty thing to me? Because people don't know better. They're all animals. They're just reacting out of fear. They're spun around. And then they become vile and nasty because their butt is their heart. I don't know the difference. All we can do as Qigong practitioners, practicers, is not spin around. Do not let anyone spin us around. De-spin, unwind, unravel. That's what this is all about, because we're all a little spun out. All right. You can't move freely in your environment when you're spinning. You can't walk straight. You stay in the same place. You're stuck. Good to be aware of these things. Okay, rotate the foot in each direction. And you start twisting up. When you're spinning, you start twisting up inside. Not only is in and out and right is left and up is down, and you don't know which way is what, but things start twisting up inside. Things start stressing out. You start to develop knots. You 
you need to unknot yourself before you can process and be heart-centered and mind-centered. You need to feel organically free to move in order to share your heart. You can't share your heart if someone's grabbing you by the throat. If you feel grasped, if you feel choked, that's being spun out. It's not being free. How can you be nice and loving if someone spins you? It's so frustrating most of all to not feel love. If you don't feel love, then I'm sorry, but you're feeling something vile and nasty. And you might not want to call it that. You might not want to call a spade a spade. Because you don't want to face the fact that there's so much nastiness out there. Maybe it feels too painful. But it's okay to call a space. That's how we start cleaning up this world together. Just because it's vile and nasty doesn't mean that it's all not made up of love somehow. You just need, you just don't need to be around that vile and nasty. You can be around the love. You can find it. You don't, you don't have to call what's violent, nasty love. You can call it what it is and step aside so that you can feel the love. If you can't feel the love, it's violent, nasty. If you can't feel the love, you're being spun around. Okay, we're up the bottom again. It's like a game. You try and find your center after a spin. Okay, find that trigger point. You might need to say to yourself, if, if that person or that energy or that lie that you see on the media or whatnot, Stop lying. Stop spinning me. Stop gaslighting me. Which might make them be more aggressive and spin you even more. You can't digest a spin. It's indigestible. It's not useful. It makes it hard for you to digest. that point under your knee about through here your fingers any questions or anything you want to share have y'all in the comments below any are you are you having any revelations about how you might be spun around twist it up knot it up and can you see how to untwist and it's okay if you feel like you can't but just practicing qigong is an act is a dedication is a discipline is a commitment to stop spinning so that you can create your life and energy so that you can feel free so that you can feel love so that you can feel empowered. That you can feel peace, joy. So thank you for being here. Above the knee, about four or five fingers. So you can think for yourself.
pressing the, any kind of acupressure spot on your body is like unraveling, is like unspinning. That's what a trigger point is. It's like a point where there's all this like tension, like, <laughs> and you just holding it is like unknotting that, calming it down, like your touch is straightening it out, cooling it out, evening it out, letting it not be chaotic, letting it not be twisted up. And then you can even feel, you know, as you press in and as you release, you can feel things are getting unknotted. You feel that release, that, that stress release. Good. How are we doing? I guess Jabri must be a me. That's okay. You can watch it later. I'm going to do hand stuff next. And then we'll stand up. I think we'll do some blooms today for the remainder, for some of the remainder of class. I love blooms. So we're going to start by just pressing in between each finger space, finger valley. Other side. I know a lot of you have some hand wrist pain, which can also contribute to shoulder pain. So we're going to do the same thing with the fingers that we did with the toes. We rotate in both directions and pull. Thanks again for sharing this video if you think it benefits you and other people. Spread that love. Help me unwind this world. Other side. Okay, now we're going to do that long, large intestine acupressure point. Again, just melt into it. You can almost feel the spinning, and then as you press it, it, it like slows it down and calms it down. It's like you're holding it, like you're holding its hand. Like, I got you. Relax. It's okay. You might feel like a twinge of pain, which is like that. It's like a part of you is crying in there. You're just rocking it like a baby. You're just holding it until that pain gently goes away. You can feel all the weeds. The other side. It's really good to do if you have a headache. Because this is like the detox point. It helps your lungs release toxins.
Okay, we are going to go ahead and stretch the thumb back. And then the next finger. And the next one. Next one. And the next one. And the one. I'm so grateful to everyone who's been sending me tips for these classes. I know I'm offering them for free and I'm really happy to do that. I want you to have this time, this break from stress. And if you have a donation to share, I welcome it and I really do appreciate it. Even a dollar helps. Helps to keep it going. Helps to get the cat food. <laughs> Other way. Uh, my PayPal and Patreon are in the link in the description below. And I'll write that in the comments here as well. Other side. energy is releasing from my wrist right now. We hold a lot in our hands. They work hard for us, washing the dishes, making the food, all that stuff. Mwah, 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 mwah. Thank you, wrists. Hold them up. So make sure you're not hyperextending, you're not opening up your arms for everything to be. stretch now be gentle with yourself you're gonna hold your ear and just gently start to rock the head but stop if it hurts gently stretch just bring the arms forward and back now. You can stand if you want to. Nice opening up the heart, nice gentle opening.
back and forth nice and slow. Stand and do some blooms. All right, so we're going to bring the hands to the thighs and then gently come up like a balloon flower. sharing the awakened one sorry for your loss and i'm so glad you had 18 years of kitty love i don't even know how old she is i think she's probably a year we're gonna go to the vet soon okay so it's hard for me to remember people's youtube names is that david the awakened one do a cat qigong form in her honor after I observe all of her different cat movements. <sighs> now you can bloom on any level. So you can bring the arms all the way up over your head if you want.
That's my breakfast. Don't feel shy. Like everyone I know that does Qigong, Qigong teachers and masters, they release those body sounds. The Qigong just brings up that negativity and pushes it out of the body in burp or whatever form. You don't worry, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just another chi feeling. 10 more of these. grateful for so much right now let's all focus on what we're grateful for it's another way to stop spinning there's so much love around you there's so much hope there's so much opportunity for connecting in positive ways with each other with the blink of our eyes done 10 already. Oh my gosh, is it already 2.56? We'll just keep on doing this a few more times. Keep on going. I'm just going to put in my PayPal information for anyone who's interested in throwing me a tip. Like I said, even a dollar is not too little. Nothing's too little. That is my PayPal. And then we've got a Patreon account. And you could do any amount. But if you do $10 or more, then you get a free song every month from me. So check that out. We're going to do a little rocking to end class just on the heels and then the toes. Heels and the toes. Back and forth. Notice how that opens up your whole body. So these flying penguin lullabies are also for sale. And I've got new lullabies coming out as well. And as you see, Kitty falls straight to sleep from it. So if you've got anyone, including yourself, or a baby, or a child, or a kitty, or a doggy that needs to go to sleep, they might just fall asleep to that music. You can test it out. You don't have to buy it. You can play it for free as well. Three more rocks and then we'll say adia until Wednesday.
Hmm. A little outside, inside rocking. Piece of a great Merle G. Outside, inside. All that stuff. It helps you to unwind. When you rock, when you go back and forth like that, open and close, you're doing the opposite of being spinning around. Open, close, right, left, up, down. And you could even spin a little bit. But notice the up, down, really centers you, stops that spinning. Back, forth, out, in, out, in. All those movements. There's a lot of that in the Qigong Meridian stretches. The in, out. Okay, my friends, let's honor the ancestors. Optional bow, honoring all the teachers. All the creatures. And then we fill ourselves up with gratitude and compassion and spread this out to the whole entire world together. Ready? One, two, three. Because that compassion and gratitude stops the spinning, the bad spinning, the vile, nasty. Wednesday.